Yo guys, I was checking my YouTube analytics and it turns out that over 50% of the people that watch my videos are not even subscribed. So before we dive into this one, if you could do me the biggest favor, hit that sub button. It's absolutely free and I appreciate it a ton. For the cheapest and most trusted grinding services, go check out The Plug on Twitter and on Instagram for all your grinding needs. Link for those will be in the description and make sure you let them know Witness2K sent you for a discount. Yo, what's going on guys? Witness2K back on NBA 2K21, my team. You're probably looking at the screen right now and you're like, what the hell are you doing buying a diamond Kobe White? for 90,000 MT for on the 2K21 auction house. And honestly, I don't, I barely know. I barely know, but there is one reason. And that's because he is a dynamic duo to Pink Diamond Zach Levine that turns Zach Levine into a hidden galaxy opal. So we were able to buy the Zach Levine for under 18,000 MT. So total, this duo is costing us over 100K MT. And the fact this is the no money spent account right now, I really shouldn't be doing this. Even though I'm going to be selling these cards back straight away, we're going to be losing MT just from tax. But I do it all for you guys because we are getting some 97 overall hidden Galaxy Opal Zach Levine gameplay in this one. 99 offense, 95 defense, six foot five. This card's obviously yeah cheap because of the locker code. He has the duo with Kobe White. Driving layup is a 98. He has a draw foul shot close, 94. Mid range, 93. Three point shot, 94 as well. 99 in the driving dunk. Um, what else gets a boost? Pass perception and shot IQ get a boost. So not a lot of boost, but it's enough to turn him into a Galaxy Opal. He has 22 Hall of Fame badges, 26 gold, catch and shoot difficult shots, posterizer. He has circus threes and deep threes, which is awesome. Downhill, quick first step, uh, clutch shooter, green machine, corner special in the gold, ankle breaker, pickpocket clamps, interceptor, intimidator. Giant Slayer bailout handles for days. Dead Eye Sniper. So I mean, he's got the right badges that we like to see. Stats look pretty juiced. One way we've got to find out though is take this man into game with my team unlimited and see how many points we can drop with him. We got a game right here, guys. Our opponent's team is decent. He's got like a pink diamond shack, but then he's got he's got a uh, dark matter Demar Derozan. So. Pretty interesting squad. We started off with a three from Zach Levine though, which is perfect. He's got the new uh, Trey Young as well, Diamond Trey Young. He's got Rondo. He's got Jeff Green Diamond. So a little bit of a confusing team, not what I expected. We get a stop on the other end, giving that straight to Zach Levine. So because this is a duo, we obviously have to keep Zach and Kobe White on the floor at the same time if we want that duo to be activated. He managed to get a layup inside with Trey Young. Contested, might I add. Don't know how, but it happened. We're going baseline, the diesel's there, and our opponent takes the lead on us. Zach Levine not getting too tired yet. Trying to hit him with something, trying to shake him. We got some room for three. Beautiful wide open look. I was honestly so scared we we're gonna miss that. Good stop, Zach Levine is starting to get a little bit tired. He's reaching on us. He's starting to get a little bit tired, but our opponent's starting to put his bench on and Bro, they're Amethyst and Diamond cards. So, I mean, we could really try and start to cook with Zach Levine, Kobe White. Let's try a shot with him. All right, I'm not passing you the ball anymore. Getting a quick ISO play for Zach Levine. You see all that room down the middle we got. Joel's there, but it doesn't matter. We get the slam in. Our opponent gets lucky with an M1 layup. Zach Levine, if we could find another three for Zach, it'd help. We got the room and we hit it. Zach Levine, it's one thing I think we can all agree on, is his jump shot is complete money. Good D. Zach Levine, is there a lane there? Maybe no, maybe yes. We'll find out. Layup, foul, going to the free throw line with Zach Levine. We hit both of these. It's a 15 point first quarter, which is pretty good. Pretty good considering he's a hidden Galaxy Opal. He's not a true Galaxy Opal. All right, guys, the bench is checked in to come in. We just got the takeover with Zach Levine as well. Big slams right there. Um, he'll probably finish the quarter grabbing an ISO play. It should be bread and bar he reached on us. He put us at the bonus though. So 
So Zach Levine is not gonna go out yet. He's gonna hit two free throws. Can we go 20 plus in the first quarter? Come on, let's go. We get a shooting foul again. He's getting another shot, another attempt at it. It's only Kyrie Irving standing in our way and that is not gonna stop us. So I got Zach Levine on already. I did call some timeouts for him and I let my opponent catch all the way back up. I gave him every bucket, wow. I gave him every bucket he had scored since Zach Levine has been off, except for that one right there, um, because I don't want him to quit. I don't want my opponent to quit, because we have the opportunity right now to drop some crazy freaking numbers. And oh my God, I'm putting up the most worst shots right now. But we literally have, we can score like 80 points. We can have a more higher scoring gameplay than the Dark Matter JR Smith gameplay we did the other day. But obviously, I'm no longer giving him freebies. No more freebies out here. I let him catch up so he wouldn't rage quit on us. Pulling a three, but I'm not gonna lie, we're missing a lot more now. All right, step back, step back, step back. Running out of time here. Let's grab a screen. Lane down the middle, reverse slam in the nick of time. We get 25 points, so we're a quarter of the way to 100. Can we hit 100? It's unlikely, but we'll see what happens. Good stop. If we want 100, we've got to be quick. We've got to be quick. We get a nice look. Freaking beautiful look. Try it again. There we go. I don't mind if we miss a three. If we get the rebound, give it straight back to Zach and he hits the next one. His literal only option is the Dark Matter um, DeMar DeRozan. That is his only chance at being successful in this game is he needs to go off with DeMar because, I mean, I'm clamping everyone up when I want to. Like, I can clamp up this DeMar if I want to, but at the same time, I'm like, just score so you don't quit. Like, there's another steal for Zach Levine. It's a little bit too easy. Back to Zach. Oh, that's sick. That is nice stuff right there. Our opponent went backcourt. Man. He has to hit us with a backcourt violation. He's not helping himself, really. Little midi. Let's go, man. 35 points in the first half. On track for 70. Starting off the second half, he starts off with the new Galaxy Opal trigger Trey Young. With a three, Zach Levine doing what he does, and that's dunking. Zach Levine with his first rebound of the game. We're stopping for three. Man, this dude's release is absolute butter. If he gets, if Zach Levine better get a Dark Matter card, this 2K, could you imagine that? We're sitting on 40 points with Zach Levine right now. I have zero plans to take him off for the rest of the game. I wanna see what we can do. Cause we're scoring with ease at the moment. Seriously, I mean, like, we're playing shooting guard. His two guards are Rondo and Trey Young. Honestly, not that hard to blow by. We've got Rondo on us. Very easy man to avoid going into a curry slide. I mean, we're, we're tired with Zach, but that was a wide open look. I'm gonna try that exact move again. Oh, hang on, we got double. There we go. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Let's go, Zach. We called a couple of timeouts for Zach Levine. He also has a takeover right now. I'm catching the three though. Yo, we hit him with the catch and shoot. That's what I want to see. Close to 50 points with Zach Levine. A dunk right here or a layup will give us a 50. There's our lane and it's too easy. Zach Levine with the 50 piece. I'm just giving my opponent wide open shots because I want the I don't want him to use 24 seconds of the shot clock every single time. Like I'm trying to go off with Zach Levine and we get an A1 dunk. Like we're going off. I just need the ball more often because I'm trying to drop 100, but I don't think we're going to be able to quite reach 100. We do miss a free throw. I'm going to blame it on the energy, the lack of energy. Zach Levine stopping, pulling, and there's another three. Yo, I do not want to check what he is shooting, like his percentage, until the end of the game because it's going to be something crazy. Zach Levine, look at that. It's just it's getting to the point where it's like, why do I even bother? We're about to drop 60 with Zach. 60 points. And we still have the four, if we can drop 40 points in the fourth quarter, that is very, very, very unlikely. But if we can drop 40 points, we'll have 100. More points we can score at the end of this third, the better. Because that is 60, if we can get another bucket, I mean, it'll just make it less points to score in the fourth. All right, guys, we are on to the final quarter, the fourth quarter. We've dropped 60 points with Zach Levine so far. And we're, we're trying for 100. We are honestly gonna make a run 
for 100 points. It ain't gonna be easy. We need to go absolutely nuts in this fourth. I'm literally gonna be letting my opponent shoot wide open shots every single time down the floor because otherwise he just mucks around for way too long and uses 20 seconds of the shot clock and that's just wasting my time. It's probably gonna put him in striking distance to possibly win the game, but it all depends how well we shoot in the rest of this game, honestly. Jeff Green, get out of here. Yo, Randall, what is you doing? I mean, we've obviously already got the win. I'm not worried about that. I'm confident we're gonna win this game. Come on, Zach, but let's just, I'm just running it up right now. He can't even hit shots with me giving him wide open looks. That sucks. Sucks to be that dude. Let's go, we hit a three. Uh, we'll do it with a takeover right now as well, it looks like. We are three points away from scoring the same amount of points that we did with Dark Matter J.R. Smith. Baseline, Shaq, get the hell out of the way. 100 points is looking a bit like a stretch. So we're going for 80, honestly. I think 80 is a reasonable amount. Yo, Shaq though, this Pink Diamond Shaq is really starting to get on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie, he stopped us from getting a couple of buckets now. Like, I hate to be the one to tell this man, but he ain't winning. I'm winning this game. Get out of the way. We'll shoot free throws. I don't care. All right, we got to sort of be a little bit safer at the moment because I'm letting my opponent score, obviously, so we can have more possessions, but it's leading it, leading that into being just a two-point game right now. So we need, to, we need to be smarter. We need to actually put some clamps on now. As soon as I put the clamps on, we get a stop. So I ain't stressing about it. Down the lane, let's go Zach. Six points for 80. I'm gonna give my opponent an opportunity to send this game into overtime. Because if we can go to overtime, we might actually be able to drop the 100 points. I have given him a three. He's now gonna foul us. I'm gonna make one free throw, miss one free throw, and uh, take, send this to overtime. He has to make this three, of course, though. I mean, I'll give him the look. He needs to relax. He has hit the three. We're going to overtime because I'm trying to drop 100 unless we hit this full court. Oh, <laughs> we nearly did. All right, guys, we're into overtime. We have an extra three minutes to try and drop. What do we need? 24 points. 24 points in, th in three minutes is going to be tough. Our opponent hits a three, so I'm not taking it. You know, like we could definitely lose this game is what I'm trying to say. We could definitely 150% lose this game. Our opponent's starting to play so much better than what he was playing in the first four quarters. Uh, he was play, he started he started picking up in the um in the fourth quarter. He just started getting better. Zach for three that ain't going in. Good rebound back to him. Let's chill. Yo, now he's reaching on us. Zach Levine with another three. 81. 81 points for Kobe Bryant. We're down by two though. We need to win this game still. There is only four points in this game. Four points from us to getting a win or choking a loss. Wide open three. Let's go. We hit another three with Zach Levine. 84 with a minute to go. DeMar DeRozan got left alone. Don't know why my team thought that was the best move to make. Zach Levine. Oh, are they bringing double? No, they're not. Take it all the way, all the way. Oh, that was tight. Guys, I think I'm gonna choke it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna choke this one. Come on, chill. Um, pull it. Oh my God, Zach. Zach Levine, we got the takeover. It's a one point game. We need to stop, because I do want to win really bad. We gotta stop, we gotta stop, we gotta stop. Chill, 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 chill. Got the takeover all the way. Zach, and we take the lead. 91 points, but he can obviously still hit a three. He can do anything and take the lead on us. D up, boys. D the hell up, boys. Chill, chill. D up. We're good. We, I think we can clamp him up. Yo, Randall, grab that. Now find Zach Levine. No! I don't want Randall to shoot the free throws. I missed a free throw. I left the window open for him. Oh, my God. Yes. Give it to Zach. Give it to Zach. Oh, my God. Get the hell out of here, GG, we win, GG. So we couldn't quite score 100 points. We were nine points off, we shot nine, we got 91 points with Zach Levine. He had one rebound, obviously zero assists, two steals, three turnovers. He shot an amazing percentage. He shot over 50%, um, over 50% from three as well. We missed two free throws when we were really tired. 
Um, we made 16 dunks in that game, but yeah, this card is actually so nice. I'm still definitely going to be selling this dynamic duo just because of Kobe White. If I could just have Zach Levine as the Opal, I'd keep him, but I mean, it just ain't worth it uh, wasting my point guard position with that Kobe White card, who I'm honestly not that big of a fan of of that card but this man right here is absolutely money i hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay video make sure you go ahead subscribe to the channel right now leave a like on this video as well and comment below if you want some more hidden galaxy opal gameplays because i can definitely get that done but i'll catch you guys on the next upload it's been witnessed